Justices Antonio Carpio and Benjamin Kagiwa vote to dismiss the vice presidential electoral protest filed by former Senator Bongbong Marcos against Vice President Lenny Robredo. Carpio reportedly dissents because the protest should have already been dismissed when Marcos failed to make a substantial recovery in the three pilot provinces. But this was overruled by a majority of 11 justices, who decided to release the results of the recount of votes in the three pilot provinces in the protest. The Supreme Court or SC also asked both parties to submit their comments on the results in the three pilot provinces picked by Marcos. And Marcos's motion to nullify the results in Lanao del Sur, Basilan, and Maguindanao. There is no decision yet based on the results of the recount of votes in the pilot provinces. Vice President Lenny Robredo sees the release of recount results as a victory. In a press conference the same day as the Supreme Court ruling, Robredo also refutes Marcos's statements that she robbed him of the vice presidency. Because between the two of us, parang hindi tayo ata ako ang may ugali mo pero between the two of us, lahat na na-achieve ko pinagpaguran ko. Wala akong fake diplomas, wala akong anything. Hindi ako naglalabas ng fake news. The vice president also maintains there is no other acceptable decision but to dismiss the protest based on Rule 65 of the Presidential Electoral Tribunal or PET. The rule says if there is no substantial recovery of votes in favor of Marcos in the three pilot provinces, the protest may be dismissed without further consideration of the other provinces mentioned in the protest. Tapos na yung eleksyon, prinoclaim tayo ng kongreso, yung resulta ng galing sa komele, prinoclaim tayo ng kongreso, panalo tayo. Nagkaroon ng recount, panalo ulit tayo. So ilang panalo pa ang kailangan? PDP Laban founder and former Senate President Nene Pimentel is in the hospital and is very ill. PDP Laban spokesperson Ron Monsayak says Pimentel, the party chairman Emeritus, is in the intensive care unit. Sources say Pimentel is at St. Luke's Global and is suffering from an advanced stage of lymphoma, a cancer of the lymphatic system. Pimentel was a known critic of late dictator Ferdinand Marcos and was among those who were imprisoned for opposing martial law. Pimentel founded the PDP Laban to oppose Marcos during the dictatorship. He served as Senate President from 2000 to 2001. Tennis champion Roger Federer announces Monday, October 14, he will compete at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics in a bid to claim the men's singles gold medal. The Olympic singles gold is the only major prize he has yet to win. Federer says, quote, I've been debating with my team for a few weeks now, months actually, what I should do in the summertime of 2020. At the end of the day, my heart decided to play the Olympic Games again. Federer has won all four of the Grand Slam tournaments as well as the ATP Tour Finals six times. World number one tennis player Novak Djokovic and Federer's rival Rafael Nadal both say they will compete in Tokyo. U.S. Senator Josh Howley warns Monday, October 14, Hong Kong is becoming a police state. The remark comes as tens of thousands fill the city's streets waving American flags and calling on Washington to punish China over sliding freedoms. Protesters filled Hong Kong's commercial district to show support for a U.S. bill called the Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act. The bill calls for annual reviews of the territory's special trading status and potentially sanctions some Chinese officials. But Hong Kong Chief Executive Carrie Lam hits the view that Hong Kong is becoming a police state, calling it totally irresponsible and unfounded. But the Republican senator from Missouri stands by his statement, I chose the words police state purposely because that is exactly what Hong Kong is becoming. I saw it myself. If Carrie Lam wants to demonstrate otherwise, here's an idea. Resign. Resign. 